All right, so when you open up Adobe Illustrator, this is what you're gonna see. Uh, so if you're opening it for the first time, you may not see any recent files, uh, but after you work with it for a little bit, uh, this is where all the uh, recent files that you've been working in live, which is super handy because you can jump right into uh, what you were working on last if you need. Let's go ahead and click on create new. So this is where you will uh, create a new artboard or a new workspace uh, to create your illustration in. So it will show all your most recent uh, if you have any. Uh, but one of the cool things is it also has all these uh, predefined templates that you can pick from. It has stuff for mobile, web, uh, print, uh, film and video, like a 1920 by 1080, um, as well as art and illustration. Or if you need something uh, specific, you can create your own. So I'm just gonna go in here to the preset details. Uh, let's say demo, um, and uh, I'm gonna make this a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. We have the option to uh, create a bleed if we want. Um, I'm just gonna leave that blank. And then below that is the color mode. So you can choose from RGB or uh, CMYK. So if you're working on the web, you wanna choose RGB. If you're working in print, you wanna choose CMYK. So let's just stick with RGB and click create. So boom, we have our new artboard set up here. All right, so let's talk about the interface and where everything lives. Uh, so on the right hand side, this is your tools panel. Uh, you can choose uh, to lay it out uh, stacked two column or one column, whatever you prefer. Uh, one column is a little bit cleaner. Right up here uh, above the um, tools panel is your control panel. So it says no selection right here, but if we create like a shape, for example, it will um, say the rectangle is selected. Um, so that changes depending on what you have selected. So I'm gonna hit Command Z, undo that real quick. So right below the control panel, you have your document window, uh, which is right here. It says demo, for example, and it says like how far you're zoomed in. Um, if I hit Command N and I create, uh, let's say another project, let's uh, call it that, hit create new, it will show up in a tabbed uh, thing and then you can uh, switch between those. Uh, if you're working on multiple illustrations or maybe even uh, multiple parts of a bigger illustration. Also, if you hit Command and Tilde together, it will uh, tab between those automatically. Uh, so you don't have to go up here and click. So let's just close out of that. So up above, right next to your control panel, you have uh, your application bar. So this has stuff like your fill color, your stroke color, your stroke options. You can click in here to give it uh, different um, options. For example, put the stroke on the inside, on the outside, etc. cetera. Um, you can choose the thickness of the stroke, the profile of the stroke, as well as uh, your brush options, which will give you different looks depending on uh, what you're looking for. Uh, you can change the opacity and the style, and then you can click right here to get your document set up, as well as jump right into preferences. So clicking right there will open up the same panel as if you went to Adobe Illustrator, Preferences, and clicked on General. It's just a, a faster way to jump in there. So up top over here, you have your workspaces. So you can define and create your uh, own workspaces, which basically means uh, how everything's laid out. Um, and what like panels are open, etc. And we'll set up our own workspace in one of the next videos. But uh, if you have like different stuff for different um, types of projects you're working on, you can quickly uh, switch between those. For example, they already have like predefined ones for automating, for laying out, for painting, for tracing, for typography, and for web. Uh, that's all laid out a little bit different. And then any custom ones will uh, live above that. So on the right side, you have your collapsible windows. Uh, for example, you have colors, um, uh, swatches, and brushes. Uh, you have gradients, uh, transparency, uh, appearance styles, etc., cetera, um, as well as like layers panels, and you can select different artboards and all that. And if you want, you could even like uh, move them around to get exactly what you want, which again, we'll do in a upcoming video. But yeah, think of it as uh, your tools on the left, uh, the settings and properties on the right, and then the application bar up top. Uh, that's the, the main things that you need to know. And then up at the tippy top, uh, you have like your file, edit, objects, um, type, um, select, effect, view, and window. 
If you're ever missing anything here, you can go up to Window and uh, you can see what's uh, checked is open, what's uh, unchecked is closed. Uh, for example, if I wanted the Pathfinder tools open, I could uh, click on that. And then if I wanted to, I could drag and drop them over here so that they live right there, which is super handy. And then like file, you'll be able to uh, save or export your file. We'll get into that. I'm gonna show you like shortcuts and stuff throughout this course so you don't have to like go up here too much. But if you need anything specific, uh, that's where all that lives. All right, so in the next video, we're gonna go through and customize our workspace a little bit so that we have um, easy access to everything uh, that we'll be commonly using uh, to create our illustrations.